I'm a candidate for President of the United States of America. And I am now ready to fight for the people of the United States of America. For months, they've been making their cases, raising money, and working the crowds. But the 2016 Republican race for the White House kicks off in earnest this week with the first GOP debate in Cleveland. This season boasts the largest field in recent history, 17 hopefuls, and the pressure is on just to get onto that stage. Only the top 10 candidates based on an average of polls will make the primetime debate cut. Host Fox News will host an earlier face-off for all the rest. Everybody understands if you're not on that stage, you've just made life more difficult. If you're not there on stage as people are developing those initial preferences and thoughts, it's just very difficult to overcome that. That's why candidates on the bubble have been pulling out all the stops to get attention, from early and expensive ad buys to videos showing the many ways to destroy a cell phone. Those who miss the main event risk being overlooked by voters, not to mention financial backers heading into the critical fall stretch before primaries and caucuses start early next year. In any other cycle, some of these second or third or fourth tier candidates would be, would be top tier candidates. Um, the bar is just so high right now. Um, and yet it's interesting that one candidate who's never held ele elected office is really uh, dominating the discussion and making it harder for some of these other folks to get attention. That, of course, is Donald Trump, who, despite leading in most polls heading into the debate, has his own set of challenges. For starters, proving he's a candidate of substance, not just rhetoric. People are going to be very curious about what he has to say. I would suggest that in, in a situation like this, being purely provocative, in a debate where it's about the direction of the country may not be the best strategy. While the debate is certainly the week's main attraction, there will be a preview of sorts on Monday evening at St. Anselm College in New Hampshire. News organizations from the first three nominating states will host what they're calling a voters first forum for all Republican candidates. Though Trump has announced he won't be there, 14 other candidates say they will. Kelly Daschle, Associated Press.